Hello, welcome to part one in the tutorial series on ordering from Mouser. Today we're going to work on ordering resistors. So we'll go to the passive components on the left. We'll go down to resistors. First thing we're going to do, we're going to click on the stocked box. Next, we're going to go to the through hole resistors and click that. Now we have a couple choices of resistors. We can do the metal film, we can do carbon film. Uh, if you got a fuzz you're doing, you could do the carbon composition. Uh, if you're working on a tube amp, you'd probably pick metal oxide. But we are picking metal film today. We're going to worry about four categories here. The manufacturer, if you want to, the resistance, the power rating, and the tolerance. Now I'm going to click these two first and then I'm going to filter them because we're all using 1% for all of them and we're using quarter watt power rating for all of them. All the 1776 boards uh, use quarter watt, most of the Mad Bean and JMK as well. Some use eighth watt, but you'll know when that's the case. So we're going to apply the filters here. And now we're going to go to the resistance and select that. There is a little expand box that makes it a little bit easier, but it's slow to begin with here. We're just going to choose 10 ohms for the purpose of demonstration, and we're going to apply the filters. Now if I want to choose a different resistance, it's much easier because I can just back tab in the browser instead of selecting 1% and quarter watt again. Now what I'll do right off the bat is your top stocked resistor is going to be at the very top of the page here and if you want to select by price just click that up arrow and it brings us to a KOA Spear brand. Now that's fine. Um, one thing to make sure that you look at is it says cut tape. That means that the resistors are on a reel and they cut off how many you need on the reel. So whenever you get the resistors, they're not going to be individual, they'll be on a tape. So you just need to snip them out or pull the tape off. I prefer not to have cut tape for most of my resistors. I prefer the Zycon brand, so I'm going to go to the 27110RC part number. Here you have your specifications, your features, documents, which will be a data sheet. And uh, if you want to make any notes on the product, you can log in and write your notes down and it'll save it. One thing to note is the pricing breakdown. I never buy one because it's the most expensive. And if you're building a lot of pedals, 10 or 200 is going to be what you want anyways, especially for common values like 100 ohms, 100 kilo ohms. Let's order 200. The other thing you could do is if you're logged in, you can just add them right to a project. Keep a running tally of your project. I order every two to three weeks. So I'll just keep all my parts in one project document and then order them all at once. I can add them whenever I want. We'll buy them. Okay, now I have the cart here. I'm just going to go back to this page and show you a quick trick. I'm just copying the part number, I'm pasting it in the keyword block. Now the 271 is the series and RC, in between these two dashes is your value. So you could put 100K, enter, and it's going to take you right to the Zycon 100K resistor, and we can order 200 of them. And it works for the Zycon, it works for other manufacturers, but the part number is going to be a little bit more tricky. The Zycon's easy. Now we're going to go back to the main page, and there's a little trick here I'll show you. You can use the Easy Buy, and we'll just paste, and then we'll change our value. And then you can just type in your quantity. You can add lines to the form if you want. If you have more than five, 
and then you can just add them to your order. It's the quickest way to do it. And now we're ready to check out. That completes the resistor tutorial. Thank you.